Ode to Poet Laureate, Anne Margaret Lim. Could you come forward, please? Good evening. In the pond by Mervyn Morris, first. There was this pond in the village, and little boys he heard till he was sick were not allowed too near. Unfathomable pool, they said, that swallowed men and animals just so. And in its depths, old people said, swam galliwas and nameless horrors, bright boys kept away. Though drawn so hard by prohibitions, the small boy, fixed in fair, kept off. Till one wet summer, grass growing lush, paths muddy, slippery, he found himself there at the fabled edge. The brooding pond was dark. Sudden escaping cloud, the sun came bright. And shimmering in guilt, he saw his own face peering from the pond. From the pool, sorry. Fitting the ode, Poet Laureate. Bearing witness from Mervyn Morris. You search the still water of memory. Examine the life caught in the sand. The first day you saw him, he was standing in your class. No, you were sitting in his, the man who conjured a pond in your exams. No, he conjured that pond long before. But as you, but as you were to come to know, poetry stands, travels far, borrows deeply. So the first day I saw him, I was in his class. The man whose father died and his mother cried and her tears were his and my eyes opened wide. His white beard would jab the corner before his blue jeans, doctor's shirt and the stars in his eyes seized the room, pinned by his baritone that dipped to base like a bucket plunged deep into the continent of Mervyn, then surfacing, brimming with laughter. And the class on the edge would draw near as he led us down the dark red lanes of Martin Carter, sat with us around the singer sewing machine Goodison immortalized with her mother. And we eavesdropped with him as he eavesdropped with senior gardening in the tropics. He'd use bay rum to clean the Mikey Smith cassette head so we'd see the legba walking, orange street, fire talking man, them kids with a stone on Stony Hill. And him plug that radio stuck in a jean, bint a breeze head into Fiwi. And walk way on the street with Oko, Linton, Muta, and Impatipan. And the class on the edge would draw nearer as he drew nearer to Miss Lou. And we peered into the pool of Caribbean poetry. And it was Mervyn Morris who inflicted the love pangs of John Donne, W.B. Yeats upon us. He brought life, pouring out from the depths of souls to his class that is not and was never contained on the Mona campus. He was already poet laureate. His progeny, many. And I, manuscript in hand, like the generations of others, negotiate the wet summer, the grass growing lush, the paths to Mervyn Morris, tennis ball poem bouncer, Rhodes scholar, rye, quicksilver, star eye, Don Drummond fan, generous. Magic poem man, Fathomless, the pond. So how do you bear witness? You search the water, examine the life in the sane, recommit every detail, then slip them back in. Then roll your world back up to a scroll, unfold it, breathe, begin. Thank you, Prof. Morris. Thank you for lending us your special talent this evening.